What is AROM? AROM is movement of a joint provided entirely by the individuals performing the exercise and there is no outside force adding in the movement. Name of the intervention is AROM exercise for shoulder flexion. As you can see, she has limited movement of shoulder flexions. She only able to flex her shoulder about 150 degree. Meanwhile, the normal range of shoulder flexion is 180 degree. Frames of reference used for ARM exercise. First, biomechanical FOR. It focuses on impairment that limit occupational performance by using remedial approach. The goals are to prevent limitation of range of motion and promote active full range of motion. Next is Rehabilitative Frames of Reference. This FOR focus on to attain highest level of functioning in desired occupational functioning and fulfilling daily activities. The goals are to maximize independence in performing ADL and IADL. So, aims of the interventions are to promote range of motion of shoulder flexion, to prevent stiffness at the shoulder joint due to limited movement, to promote muscle strength of the shoulder. The first activity she can do is arrange items in the cabinet. As the cabinet has different shelf heights, hence patient can practice ARM of shoulder flexion and extension by arranging the items using the affected hand. Next is hanging clothes. This activity requires patient to do shoulder extension and flexion in order to hang the clothes. Others activity that patient can do is wiping windows. While wiping the windows, patient will flex their shoulder as maximum as possible along with abduction and adduction of the shoulder. For grading, first, increase repetition of the activity. Second, increase the size of equipment used from small to bigger size. And the last one, increase the height level. The evidence based on ARM exercise. First, active range of motion along with a stretching exercise was more effective than the ROM alone in reducing pain intensity, functional activities, and range of motion of involved limb for treatment of burns patients. In addition, exercise therapy of higher intensity and or duration combined with other treatment maneuver is required for promoting more significant changes in shoulder active range of motion and shoulder muscle strength in frozen shoulder patients. In conclusion, active range of motion exercise can be performed with or without treatment modalities and it also can be done through functional activity at home. The limited movement of affected body part can be observed by performing active range of motion and further ROM exercise is needed to identify the specific measure of the affected part.